Today we are going to be using the Craig concealed hinge jig to be able to locate and mount where we want our concealed hinge. Would recommend that you go to your owner's manual for what the manufacturer of the hinge says that it needs to be away from. Has just a little bit of information on how to set it up. Here's where it mentions about your settings for your hinge and just some other settings there as well. Uh, make sure that you just follow the instructions and you'll be good to go. So all that you need to do is there's the three, four, five, and six. And so if you want three millimeters as what your hinge manufacturer says, you just put each dial to three. And then if you look on the back side, you'll have a flat on it for each one. That's, that is what determines that. And then when you put your piece of your door panel up against the wood like that, it will sit against it. I do want to show that there are different measurements along. So zero would be right in the center and you have that mark right there. So on your door frame, on your panel door, if you have it laid out, which you'll see in the video that you can use just to um, line up your marks with that. Um, also, don't forget that there are your screw holes right here that go into it. So we lost uh, a, a couple clips of us first using the hinge jig, but in the video you will see us going to the second hole Like said, it does make a mess, but there is the first one done. And we'll go ahead and do the second one. So just line it up again. This to the table. And if you want to get that again, Colton, you set it right down in here go down in and you turn it and locks it in place and a battery dead on the drill um we don't have any more batteries for that drill uh-oh <laughs> um. okay take two switched back out and we'll finish it with this Um, so what I didn't do on the last one, and that's why we had two drills set up and ready. And you always make a couple mistakes as you're learning, but it's an easy fix that we can still get through. It's not like it's all messed up, but I forgot to do the small little screws that are down here. Colton, if you can show them these little little holes right here so that's for the tiny little drill bit and so we didn't do that on the other side so you'll just go down in a little bit and come back up unclamp it and then you can see those right there so that's where your hinges will fit in there so actually what we can just do right here is just line it back up where we have it and still just give it a good clamp for safe measure. And just drill right down in it. So here we have our hinges and they are half inch overlay hinges. So what does half inch overlay mean? So what that means is that from this surface here on all four sides, the cabinet door will 
hang over a half inch. That's what half inch overlay is. So then we'll just set the hinges in here. Then you just put them in, get your screws. Screws lined up. So I hope you enjoyed this process and found that it was helpful to use the Craig concealed jig to get the right placement for your hinges. Um, stay tuned for the next video and we will show how to mount the door onto your cabinet. Thanks for watching.